Hello and welcome to the session. The given question says, the resultant of two forces P and Q acting at an angle theta is equal to 2m plus 1 into root over P square plus Q square and when they act at an angle pi by 2 minus theta, the resultant is equal to 2m minus 1 into root over P square plus Q square. Show that tan theta is equal to m minus 1 divided by m plus 1. Let's start with the solution. Now, if the forces P and Q act at an angle theta, then we are given that the resultant is 2m plus 1 into root over p square plus q square which implies that 2m plus 1 into root over p square plus q square is equal to root over p square plus q square plus 2 times of pq into cos theta. Since we know that if R is the magnitude of the resultant of two forces P and Q acting at an angle alpha, then R is equal to root over P square plus Q square plus 2 PQ cos theta. Here we have again the two same forces P and Q. So we have root over P square plus Q square plus 2 PQ into cos theta as the resultant and we are given the resultant equal to 2m plus 1 m to root over p square plus q square. Hence we have this equation. Now on squaring both the sides on the left hand side we have 2m plus 1 whole square into p square plus q square is equal to p square plus q square plus 2 times of pq cos theta which further implies that 2m plus 1 whole square into p square plus q square minus p square plus q square taking both these terms on the left hand side on the right hand side we are left with 2pq cos theta which further implies that 2m plus 1 square minus 1 into p square plus q square which is equal to 2pq cos theta or we have here applying the formula of a square minus b square which is a plus b a minus b we have 2m plus 1 minus 1 into 2m plus 1 plus 1 into p square plus q square is equal to 2pq cos theta or we have 2m into 2m plus 1 sorry 2m plus 2 into p square plus q square is equal to 2pq cos theta now dividing both the sides by 2 we have m 2 times of m into m plus 1 into p square plus q square is equal to p into q into cos theta. Here we have divided both the sides by 2. Let this be equation number 1. Now we are also given that if P and Q act at an angle of pi by 2 minus theta, then the resultant is 2m minus 1 into root over P square plus Q square. So we have 
2n minus 1 into root over p square plus q square is equal to root over p square plus q square plus 2pq into cos of pi by 2 minus theta. And cos pi by 2 minus theta is sine theta. So next step can be written as 2m minus 1 into root over p square plus q square is equal to p square plus q square plus 2pq sine theta under the root. Or on a squaring both the sides, we have 2m minus 1 whole square into p square plus q square is equal to p square plus q square plus 2 pq sine theta. Thus, on squaring both the sides. Now, Taking p square plus q square on the left hand side we have 2m minus 1 whole square into p square plus q square minus of p square plus q square is equal to 2pq sin theta. Or before the half, taking p square plus q square common, we have 2m minus 1 whole square minus 1 into p square plus q square and this is equal to 2pq sin theta. Now here, find the identity a square minus p square since 1 can be written as 1 square this can further be written as 2m minus 1 minus 1 into 2m minus 1 plus 1 into p square plus q square is equal to 2pq sin theta. Or we have 2m minus 2 into 2m into p square plus q square is equal to 2pq sin theta. Or we have dividing both sides by 2 2m into m minus 1 into p square plus q square is equal to pq sin theta. Let this be equation number 2. Now, dividing equation number 2 by 1, so the right hand side of equation number 2 is pq sin theta and the right hand side of equation 1 is pq cos theta. So here we have pq cos theta. Similarly, writing the Left hand side of equation number 2 we have 2m into m minus 1 into p square plus q square and the left hand side of equation number 1 is 2m into m plus 1 into p square plus q square and on simplifying on the left hand side we have sine theta divided by cos theta is equal to m minus 1 divided by m plus 1 which further implies that tan theta is equal to m minus 1 divided by m plus 1 and hence this is what we are required to prove that tan theta is equal to m minus 1 divided by m plus 1. So this completes the session. Bye and take care.